up everyone, it's Biker Babe Beth here and I am at the 75th annual Hill Climb, AMA Hill Climb here in Oregonia, Ohio. And I'm here both Saturday and Sunday, so let's get into all the awesome races and see some killer riding. Let's go. Play by play. What's happening, Jeff? Shit's going nuts. Oh, People God. are falling. You're missing it. You're missing it. So we have a crowd watching everyone come down the hill, waiting for folks to fall. We have we got a rolling poly up there. Be 
people just be rolling down this hill, dog. Oh, not yeah. walking. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. You're running, <laughs> you're in trouble. You don't run. You don't run. tight and we're gonna go down the hill together okay wow. easy does it ah uh, I'm nervous Whoa. The second I stop recording, somebody falls into the fence. Kid in the fence a minute ago? I missed it. I stopped recording. I thought the fence went right through his foot, dude, and he just snapped that shit off and kept going. Hey, I slid down on my feet half the Thank you, sir. He got it. Strong finish. Strong finish. Woo! Strong finish. <laughs> I was able to snag one of the actual professional hill climb AMA folks here today. Who am I with? What's your name? Corbin Davis. Corbin, what are you racing on today? Uh, today I raced a 2003 Honda 450 and a GSXR 750. Hell yeah! So how did you do? Um, I'm unsure on my place in the 450 class. Uh, this hill is definitely a learning experience. Nothing I've rode before. Nuts. Today was the West Coast hill and I'm from the East Coast. Okay. So this was definitely a learning experience Ow. for me. I believe I was right around 15th in the 450 class and then uh, in the open class, I believe I took an eight. Hell yeah, that's very good because this hill is intimidating. It, that third hill right the wall. Yeah, the wall. That's a, yep, that's a good name for yeah, it. What yeah. got you into this sport? Um, my dad was a professional racer back when he was a younger kid. He raced professional flat track. My grandpa always rode and raced dirt bikes, and so it was bound to be. There was no getting out of it. I've been racing since I was three years old. That's amazing. And haven't looked back since. See, I love hearing about when it's all in the family because that's how you actually get the real skills because they teach you from a baby, yes. right? Yes. You're gonna be racing tomorrow. Do you think yep. you're gonna do better tomorrow? Hoping to do better okay, tomorrow. Right. Tomorrow's more the style hill I'm used to. Makes I've sense, makes I've sense. rolled the hill we're racing tomorrow for a few years now. Okay. Um, riding a different bike tomorrow. I'll be riding a CBR 675 on 100% okay. nitro methane. Oh hell yeah, it's nitro! Right around 300 horsepower to the rear wheel. So hopefully, Woo! hopefully we can be on the top step of the box tomorrow and bring home some cheddar. Hell yeah. What for Instagram, YouTube, what kind of socials can people get a hold um, of you on? You can follow me on Instagram, Corbin Davis 25. That would be awesome. Just almost to a thousand followers. So. Let's get Corbin to a thousand followers, everyone. Thank you so much, Corbin. It was nice meeting you. Good luck nice tomorrow. You. You Thank got you. This, man. All right. I, I suckered another racer into talking to me today. Who do I have with me? John Kester. John Kester. How'd you do? What'd you race today? Uh, I raced the 450 class, Verticross, and the Premier class. I did all right. Ended up 11th in 450. I believe eighth in the premier class. Which that's, that's really freaking good. With this, yeah. with this track, this West Coast track is really crazy, honestly. Yeah, it's a lot different than what our bikes are set up for and what we're used to, but it was fun. So you're an East Coast rider then? Yep. Okay, all right. Where are you from then? I come from Hornell, New York. All right, awesome. And how long have you been racing? What got you into it? I started racing motocross when I was about three years old. And wow. then I got into hill climbing in 2016. Okay. No, 2010. Right. When I turned 16, I was okay. able to get my pro license, and wow. we're only about 
15 minutes from Pokes Hall, which used to be a really big event, but okay. they since then shut down. So now this is the big event for the area, right? Yep, this okay. is the big event for yeah. the whole country now. Yeah, awesome. If people want to get a hold of you on the internet, do you have like an Instagram or a Facebook that they could contact you? And how do I start racing if they have questions? Yeah, absolutely. I'm always open to talk to whoever wants to, and it's uh, JFK172 on Instagram, and it's just John Flying Kessler on Facebook. Sorry. Get out of my shot! <laughs> you gotta, hey, keep, you gotta hey. keep that in there. Thank you so much, John. I really yeah. appreciate your time. And we're gonna try and interview some more riders if they're suckers and will talk to me like this guy. Thank That's, you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Take it easy, man. Thanks. All right, guys, I have another amazing hill climb athlete with me. And who do I have here today? Josh Miller. Josh Miller. How long have you been racing? What got you into racing? Yeah, I've been racing uh, since I was about four. Um, Common. I've been been doing it uh, motocross started with motocross and then my dad got me into the hill climb series and I uh, went to the pro side about five years ago and keeps growing and growing and the competition keeps getting better it so. really does honestly it was insanely tough today how did you do and what did you race on today yeah today I finished probably mid-pack um, okay. it was like 14th or 15th today yeah. Um, I rode my Gas Gas 450 over here. Nice. And then uh, also my twin for Premier Class, my Harley Davidson. Okay, how did the Harley Davidson do? Good. Um, got a time the second round. I was going for it the first round and uh, ended up crashing on the top of the hill. He's ready to open up. Oh, no. And he can't hold on. I think I may have caught that crash. If you don't mind telling people about your social media so they can get a hold of you if they're interested in learning about racing and stuff like that. Yeah, you can follow me throughout the season um, on Instagram under Miller128 and then uh, Facebook as well as Josh Miller. So. Thank you so much for your time, awesome. Josh. Good Thank luck you. tomorrow. Are you yeah. racing tomorrow? Sure, I'm. All I got right. the nitro bike out tomorrow. Hell so. yeah. Thanks. Finishing up day one of hill climb. So that was the West Coast style. And we got here a little late, so I didn't get as many clips of the West Coast, but I will promise to get all the action of the East Coast style hill climbing tomorrow. And I was somehow lucky enough to interview some of those amazing AMA riders. I cannot believe how much cojones it takes to go up one of those types of hills because they're literally riding up a, a wall. It's, it's nuts. Off to camp we go. This is my first time camping here, so uh, I don't know if I'll show you any camp shenanigans, but maybe, maybe not. When I went down, when I went down, <laughs> Help you? <laughs> ate some sandwiches. I do have a fellow Dayton Lita who is a few camps down the way and we went and said hi to her. Her name is Lauren and she is uh, camping with some friends and they have like a crazy nice setup and there's gonna be live musicians so you know we're gonna we're gonna go check out the live music. I'm gonna get a mixed drink. Long story short I brought apple cider to mix with salted caramel crown and I forgot my apple cider so now I'm just gonna drink Crown, like a man.
The sun is setting. We got to listen to some live music. We are gonna go back over to my friend Lauren and Joey's camp area, but Jeff was cold. I'm kidding. It's it, the temperature is dipping. It's flannel time. It's also time to put away the camera since it's getting dark and I don't have night vision. So that means I will catch you guys bright and early for more hill climb action. Good morning from day two in Oregonia, Ohio. Today is the East Coast style hill climb and we are going to see some of the pros from the nation battle off and see who is champion. And I mean, this is, this is an unprecedented event because this is the first time that we have had the East Coast and the West Coast Nationals in one spot battling out for who is that national champion. So stay tuned guys. I'm gonna try and get as much footage today as I can of all of the races, all of the hill climb action. Let's get to it. But first, people need to arrive. It's 10 a.m. The first races are gonna be starting after their rider meeting. So let's go check that out. It's an absolutely gorgeous day today. We're gonna be in the mid 70s and it's gonna be a little windy. So I don't know if that's gonna affect the riders at all, but uh, I think it might. <laughs> sort of perspective I am on the first top lip of this east coast hill climb I don't know if you can get some perspective but that is steep that is like straight down we have four count them four steep ass hills for them to go up I am currently on the first lip and right now the rider meeting is going on. So they have very important business to attend to. And they are down by the starting wall. That back wall is what the riders will kick off of and hit this first lip, second, third, and then the fourth one is the finish line. Yesterday we were watching the West Coast style, which was a little bit more difficult for my East Coast riders. Today we are doing the East Coast style straight up. I'm super excited to show you guys some amazing pro riders hit this crazy tall hill. I mean, like video cannot give you perspective of how steep it really is.
and they are having heat go up this hill with three riders. It's pretty windy. Let's see these hill climb riders battle it out. They're getting lined up now. Let's go. Correction, two riders. They're doing two riders at a time. That's probably the safer bet. The class, the big iron class. shooting rocks super far like uh you know my poor little hand got hit it's fat it's it's a flesh wound <laughs> Oh, my God. 
like it because they gun it at the <laughs> at the third hill. Like they just gun it right there, and you're like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna finish recording them because I don't want to die of pebbling to death. You can be pebbled to death, right? Stone to death, that's a thing. the hill climb the 75th annual I got pelted with rocks I listened to a country music star around a campfire Hunter Flynn if you're not familiar here's a little clip of that I was so I was swooning oh. but I interviewed a couple, so comment that down below. All right, guys, I will catch you on the next video. Peace out.